Hey YouTube, Wheelbright Bikes here. Today we're riding at Coidy Brennan and we're going to do the Tardu Trail, which is the Black Ball, I think it's translated in English. We've got new team jerseys, all the sponsors on it. Got my rab coat on just in case because it we are in Wales, so it's probably going to rain, let's face it. For me today, KJV on the Cannondale Jackals. Back off the e-bikes from yesterday. So it's going to be interesting. But first, coffee time. Just had our coffee and we're just about to go ride the Taru Do. Okay, here we go. I think it starts at the bottom here by these horny horns. Trail we're doing. Here we go. 20.2 kilometers. This has got a load of slabs on it and that should be pretty fun. Black steps sounds good. I think that's what we're doing right now actually. Here we go, let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, I nearly went straight off already. Oh. We were going in a down, but apparently not. I think we're going to the black steps which MBR and whatever the Apple Trail is and the Beast will finish on. It's right at the bottom by the visitor centre. So we've been warned that this trail is a lot of fire aid and the old school trails tend to be, like the trail centre trail tend to be quite fire aidy. I think this is possibly the first trail centre trail in the world. Certainly the first one in Britain. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'll see you at the top. A lot of fire road, but it's sunny and nice. So who cares? Definitely a bit chilly though. Yeah, chilly but warm, weird one. Yeah, I think it's the wind chill. The sun's actually quite nice. Here we go, coming up to the first probably proper trail, Y Slab. Looks like it might be a technical climb. pretty rocky this probably looks very tame on camera but it's actually quite tricky well tricky compared to the fire road anyway <laughs> Gonna see some amazing views in a minute. Here we go, I think we're coming up to the first lab. So please it's dry. It's been really wet the other days. Can't believe how dry it is today. It's like there's a way around if you don't fancy it. Whew. That's what we got. Oh cool, proper slab, that looks fine. Looks like there's two routes. Down here for the chicken line, carry on down a simple bit. Well there's this main slab here, straight down into what looks like another slab. Oh and a little rock piece there, or another option. Down this little one here, down that slab, and then it looks like you can go right down a really steep one. Just even short. Anyway, I mean, got five tens on, they got a stealth rubber, which is the same one they use in their climbing shoes. And that's crazy grippy. So this is near, oh, it's got to be like 60 degrees. Yeah, it's down here, straight down here. Try not to go with the bars on these steps. Judging by, there's no chain smacking. Looks like it's rollable. And then what's this slab? Yeah, 
this one's quite a bit steeper but yeah it looks all good so let's have a play around on this I reckon first roll down see what it's like easy and this one Whew. Oh, easy. That is really nice. Uh, super grippy. I reckon just walk it first, have a look around, see what you're getting into, but I don't think anyone would have a problem with that. So here we are on Wise Lab. These rocks are ridiculously grippy and Will is going to prove it to you now. Go, send it. Grippy. Slightly special. So grippy. You! Okay, moving on now. Played around on the slabs for a bit. So fun. Let's do final run down it. Phew! And I'll carry on the trail. Absolutely loving this trail. This is my favourite one at Coity Brennan more danger. What we got this time? Fun little slab. Oh big boy. What we got here? Got a proper slab here after all that playing about. Oh that looks good. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. And then what's that, a big drop? Ah, oh, this is the best trail ever. Phew! Getting the hang of them now? Yeah. We don't have anything like this back home. Nope. This one's probably harder than all the others. Oh, it's big. And it looks like you got a bit of a drop at the end. Might get Kate to film me coming down this. Okay, first run in. Don't really know what to expect. Ready, Kate? Here we go. Let's see what it's like. Phew! Super easy. Kate's going to drop in now, give this one a go. Ah, oh, like a pro! Let's get the drop in there as well. It's going to follow in behind. Oh, what a trail! Up. Thank God for 29. 
fun, wasn't it? Real fun. Okay, down into a snap. Yeah. Ugh, weird line. Very weird line choice. Rock hard in the trail. Thank you. Right. Oh, juicy. My hands hate rock. They're so fun. Trail. Oh, hey. Woo, that was good. So John Snap, time for some crackle. Oh god. There's some pot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Strain to pop. Strain to pop. Strain to pop. Oh, it's my favourite trail here. Oh, oh my god. That was a close one. Very much offline. Just had a quick look at the map and it looks like we're only halfway around. Not uh, going back to the visitor centre. Read it wrong, you can, you can ride that fire road back down as a, an escape route, but we're gonna do some more, which I'm pretty pleased about because it was really fun. And it's pretty sunny. Good times. Good times. So we just come off a mammoth fire road climb and onto some single track called Owl's Loop. And it's in this amazing mossy woodland, all this water around us and rock. But as soon as we got in, temperature dropped about five degrees or something. It is freezing in here. At the top of the climb, there's a skull and crossbones to say it's danger, but we had a quick look and it looks pretty, pretty tame. Some straight in. Yeah, pretty tame. Yeah, we just got to the Rocky Horror Show. Kate reckons it's a good one. We've not tried it yet though. So, who knows why she thinks that? Why do you think that? Just from reading stuff. Okay. Anyway, here we go. It's a bit juicy. It is a bit juicy. Oh, you don't need brakes on this trail apparently. So I'm going to death grip. It's pretty straight. If you wheelie through the puddles, you don't get water in your face. Oh, that's pretty good. For a bit of single track. Not bad, eh? Enjoyed that then? Yeah. That was ridiculous. <laughs> clearly. It was clearly a Rocky Horror Show. It was, yeah. Rocky Rocky. Ooh. I don't think I used my brakes at all. It was just like. Slow, video might say slow, something slow, else. Slow. Yeah, it's just the up at the end I wasn't into, but. <coughs> you 
you got to go with what land you got. Okay, so we are here. That's the escape route back if you need to. Looks like there's a fire road into Mantrap. Pins and needles inbound. Inbound looks like the last one. Although, shortcut maybe. Who knows? Anyway. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. We've got a a long trail along here and an R74. So, probably three quarters of the way. It's real good. Anyway, let's carry on. Okay, we're on a trail called Man Trap now. Oh, that was a very short trail. Ready? Pins and needles, here we go. It's going to be super rocky. Oh yeah. Whew. Super rocky. Trails like this, it's hard to get your flow. Although, this one flies quite nice. Oh god, it's quite draining. Oh god, it's draining. Oh. And looks like last trail inbound. Crazy tiring one, Ooh. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pins and needles. I didn't really get pins and needles in my hands, but no, I just like I usually it. do. <laughs> anyway, inbound now. I think there's a trail called Flight Path. Ready? Ready. Good need to fess. Oh. <laughs> Put a load of mud in my mouth. Right, here we go. Oh, this bike is so flipping good. Whee! Hey, yeah. jumped off the trail. Oh, I wouldn't go back to 27 and a half now. It's all about 29. Here we go. Right then, ready? Good. Going into R74, which I think might be the final trail. But it looks like quite a long one that traverses the hill, so it might be quite pedally. We shall see. Oh, I'm quite tired now. Okay. Oh, I bet this looks flat on camera, but that was quite steep. Oh, what a lovely trail. And the Michelin Wild Enduro tyres holding up so well in the rock. I didn't think they would do that well in the rock because they're quite soft. But they're doing real good. So grippy. Oh, there's lots to pump on. Which is nice. Oh, a techie climb. Here we go. Come on, Will, you got this. Let's let Kate catch up. Carry on. Carry on. Here we go. Woo! So that's it. We just finished Taru Do. 
Uh, heading back up to the visitor centre now. Quickly wash the bikes off. And I think we're going to go do some orienteering. Whatever that is. Oh no! Ha. Nice and clean, nice and clean. Thanks for watching my video. This is Wilbrett Bikes, that was uh, Taru Do. Did you enjoy that cape? Very good. It was really good. Definitely recommend that trail. It was 21.61 kilometers and it took us about four hours because we were prattling about for ages. So if you enjoyed our video, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.